pineapple shall deserve a place on pizza. No, you're done. You're done. There is no entertainment value whatsoever. Man, I still wonder what else has no entertainment value. Could it be a topic commentator that makes topics for a long time and adds nothing to the conversation while unnecessarily throwing insults or degrading a person that they're criticizing, not actually thinking through what they're saying? I wonder who does that. Could it be annoying orange? Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Throw you in a choke, gun smoke, gun smoke. Biggie smoke for mayor, the rap slayer. Achito is a fucking maniac, just like every topic commentators are. Speaking of topic commentators, my collab with Zenison is out now. Please watch. And one thing that makes Achito stand out or unique is the fact that he has an anime profile picture. This guy is everything you would expect from topic commentators. Dragging points to the point where they become more repetitive than Saints Row 3 story missions, bringing up unnecessary things like it's a valid point. This is why YouTubers get a bad reputation. Like, I look at who's doing better than me on this website and I just see this sort of stuff makes me want to actually kill myself. You also uploaded another video relating to Jellybean. Even if it's not Jellybean in the video, he's talking about a Jellybean clone. So now he's not only milking Jellybean, he's milking the genre. I'm going to talk about this video made on a Jellybean clone called Chobu acts like a five year old. Oh man, I wonder who else acts like a five year old. You fucking lobotomite. My mom sent me this text message right here. Lamau, Jake, what the hell? Yeah, it looks like your mom's kind of freaked out by your content, but can you really even blame her? Look at your PNG avatar. It looks like Pig the Pig from back at the barnyard. If he was a Japanese femboy. Holy shit, guys. He fucking looks like it, guys. This is absolutely crazy, dog. I don't care. Like honestly man, no one gives a shit if the avatar is a fanboy or a dinosaur or maybe a dismembered body seven together with plastic. Because really, no one gives a shit man. The fact that you had to bring this up as some sort of a point is really unnecessary. There's not even any substance in this. We're just saying avatar boy, fanboy, like... Okay, your avatar is a fanboy, but I didn't see anyone bitching about it. So this is another Jellybean clone, and all of his videos give off a certain vibe, and I don't really know what adjective I'd use to describe the vibe, but it's not a good one. The entire video sort of feels like filler. What I love about Ashito's videos is that a lot of the point, he would indirectly criticize himself by making points that represent his entire content. With most channels, when this happens, I would think he's probably a troll, but unfortunately, he's serious, and that's concerning. Jellybean is not my mom, no! This video has 117,000 likes. Again, with bringing up how another person have better views or video performance. Who really gives a shit, as you do? It's a video made for children. I don't see people complaining about how a nursery video has more likes than the unconjointed mess that is your commentary videos. At the end of the day, you're just insulting a type of content specifically directed at a younger audience. Just like if I was criticizing an ABC song because it was so cringe, it literally makes me want to kill myself, guys. Oh god, a video clearly targeted at children makes me cringe my whole life is destroyed there are natural disasters everywhere like it's indonesia you're 18 and you're here saying you want to kill yourself because of some kid being annoying if you were 12 that would make a lot of sense but like what i said you're 18 i want more than anything for somebody like chobu to just break character and lose it on a youtube shorts like just go mask off instead of a video like today i'm reading my wackiest youtube comments i don't know make an unfiltered political video where you're like why you should vote for Joe Biden now? I don't know. I just feel like I'd have something else to watch that actually had meaning and wasn't just reading my comments. Are you okay, man? You're repeating your points more frequently than the amount of abuse in Asian families. And the worst thing is him repeating his points makes me repeat my points. So this is actually a trap for me to be repetitive with my points, therefore making me a hypocrite. Like what I said earlier, this video is for children. You find it cringe, then you just move on for the day. I get it that you're on the YouTube grind, but come on man, find a better topic. Honestly, if I just ignored your voice, I would definitely think you're a 12 year old because only 12 year olds find something cringe and cling to it for eternity. Something about this overly touchy feely, colorful, sensitive, like preschool type aesthetic makes me angry and I don't know why. <laughs> So that's enough of that video because from two minutes, we already know the points that he's going to make, which is the same shit over and over again. He drags out his points for eight minutes and basically just say the same stuff in a slightly different way. So let's check out another video where he hopefully doesn't do that thing, right guys? Where am I lying to myself? It's a topic commented. Minecraft kid gets roasted at school. Guys, 
how much do you want to bet that it's a Darman video? It probably is, to be honest. So I stumbled across this channel that makes content similar to Darman. Yup, yup, it is. What the fuck did I expect? We have a Darman video in 2022. This truly shows how commentary has evolved. And I have one more video before I move on to my main points. It is a Jellybean video. Now, this video is the one that I originally reacted to in my video talking about problems with how people criticize in the commentary community. I originally had my part on the Jellybean situation much longer, but I had to cut it off because it would just be a long a cheating rant and i just had so many problems with this video that it bothered me so much his points in this video are so terrible that it challenges the average browser video in terms of arguments if i have to watch an a cheating video i have to lower my brain cells and lower my expectations in order to be on par with his videos so let's do that and watch this video called jelly bean is beyond cr now today in specific we're going to be talking about a youtuber that goes by the name jelly bean and she is by far one of the worst offenders of this sort of content basically it's just YouTube shorts that range anywhere from 30 seconds to 50 seconds and the content itself is pretty much this chick sounding like she's off who knows how much drugs where she's just pretty much yelling about something usually Minecraft related and there's pretty much some androgynous borderline furry avatar overlaid on some Minecraft parkour gameplay with literally blaringly loud video game OST music in the background. Ah uh, yes, the ultimate criticism of them all. Borderline androgynous. What the fuck does that even mean? Why is that a point why am i questioning a bland topic commentator i i also like how he basically just points out what's going on in the video it's very considerate of him to point out the obvious for his fan base full of children as a respective member of this child community i endorse this part now if i had to make a guess i would assume that the core audience for jelly beans content is literal fetuses the average jelly bean viewer has to be from the age 6 to 12 at most oh boy i should do wonder who else is exactly what you mentioned no it's not me you fucking maniac it's you reading my hate comments not gonna lie you kind of look like a child murderer aka william afton what the heck why would i look like yeah, you see, this is why YouTubers get a bad reputation. Like, I look at who's doing better than me on this website, and I just see this sort of stuff makes me want to actually kill myself. This video is so ridiculous because it's getting worked up about family-friendly content. Now, if it was a video about family channels, then I would understand because sometimes those channels would abuse their family members and not let any privacy in. All that sort of stuff, but here is just a funny PNG talking over Minecraft gameplay. Jollibean didn't murder your entire family, dude. Calm the fuck down. It's not the end of the world if a child has more subs than you. Okay, I'm obviously joking, but I feel like the average person after seeing that and seeing the 1 million subs attached to it, like, you gotta be a little bit worried for the future of entertainment. This is so bleak and, and substanceless. I don't like Jollibean's content, but your content isn't any better. You're talking over gameplay with little to no editing, and what's also ironic is that you have little to no personality. You, you're just there saying, this, this guy, this child, um, pretty, pretty cringe, guys. Pretty cringe, guys. Like, if you agree. Like, the YouTube economy has so much better to offer in terms of entertainment for the younger demo demographic like i know my age group right 2002 to 2005 that age group we grew up during like the peak youtube era we had the best creators to watch as a child and i just feel like i'm doing something wrong just leaving this content to to be shown to like the little kids like they're gonna look back and think wow that was the shit remember when i used to watch jelly bean every day man that was so epic no it wasn't epic you had the chance to be exposed to much better content so that's what i'm kind of hoping to do with this video to give a thorough criticism analysis and whatever about jelly bean in hopes that, you know, maybe a young lad will stumble across this video and become red-pilled. So, children of the internet, I asked thee for an important question. Would you rather have harmless family-friendly content or content in which they simply bully children for no apparent reasons? As a former child, I can also answer that the fact that your point is so fucking dog shit that I had to go to the toilet. I don't know why you're acting like this content is really that bad. It's just cringe. Children make me cringe. I am cringe, but they didn't realize it at the time. Because why? Well, Achito, if you knew this thing called acquiring a brain or maybe just having basic thinking skills, you would know the answer. Which is because they're chilling you fuck for your voice is like a boy, but you're a girl. Okay, so what's your point? Okay, so what's your point? Okay, so what's your point? Oh, he did the slow mo. Oh my god, holy shit. 
I don't get why people do this because honestly that shit is fucking annoying like repeating it once is alright but you don't have to drag it out for 5 seconds we get it that woman said funny funny bad hey guys look at what this stupid shit this guy said Darman. crazy right now what if i drag it out five times because you clearly haven't got the point ready right guys what why am i even asking drag out this clip even more his point was a qualitative observation you learn about those in the sixth grade also why are you acting like you don't try to be androgynous your oc looks like a gender bent demon and that's by design dog you commissioned that and again with the bitching about avatars why are you being so stupid you're acting like they're an adult or something like they, they have so much responsibility on them they're fucking 16 dude. come on man open your eyes because you're clearly a tiny bit brain dead an arkham prisoner has more basic thinking than you a killer this is the most disgusting one okay i just don't understand how somebody sees this video for example and thinks wow i'm really intrigued i'm gonna subscribe i really like this person's jokes personality and overall the feeling of their video i don't understand how somebody just sees your content and for example thinks wow i'm really intrigued i'm gonna subscribe Crap, I really like this personality and this person's joke and this personality and overall the feeling of this video and guys prepare for the best argument anyone would have ever made in the history of mankind because this is honestly fucking legendary now we're gonna watch one of her videos titled i tried making cookies 400k special now she's not even trying to hide the fact that she's completely cloning ranbu ranbu baked a cake for one mil she's making cookies for 400k he wears sunglasses and a mask she's wearing sunglasses and a mask hey guys if you wear sunglasses because it's hot and wear a mask because of a pandemic or if you're Zenisins, that makes you a Renbu clone. Because Renbu invented sunglasses and masks. Also, if you eat desert, you're a Renbu clone because he made a video baking. And if you make a video baking, that makes you a Renbu clone. A Cheeto has inspired me to go down the street and find an elderly lady baking cookies and screech at the woman for copying Renbu. Thank you, Achito. You're such a great person. You're very informative and respectable. Overall, I think Achito is insufferable. Look, it says in the fucking title. Also, I did upload some fucky whoever things I won't actually upload this week. That's all for this week. Go, go watch my call up with Zenosins. Please sub to him because he has my family. And sub to everyone involved in the collab. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next week or month. I, I, don't, I don't fucking know.